and welcome to my workshop. So today we're going to be starting on a new build. This is going to be a replica build of a homemade camper trailer that my friend has. Alright, so let's get started. I'm starting this build off with some 1 14th scale semi-truck axles. They're just generic ones you can get off eBay. The best thing about them, besides them being inexpensive, they are independent each side. This means the trailer could take a tight turn without hopping due to the axles being tied together. I'm just bolting some leaf springs to the axles through the holes that are pre-drilled. So even though I am making a replica, it doesn't have to be exact. I just get some dimensions which look like the original and fit with the axles I have. The chassis is mostly made up of half inch square tubing. This is way overkill, but the next option is brass. And I just don't think that that will be strong enough for the weight which will eventually be placed on it. For this bend, I just make a pie cut and then bend it together. The area is flooded with flux and heated up with my map gas torch. Once the area looks visibly clean, the silver solder can be added to close up the gap. In the past, I would have used cutoff discs in my angle grinder. Now I do as much as I can with a metal cutting blade and my jigsaw. You really need to have good eye protection though, because this thing just throws metal chunks all over the place. I make notches in square tubing so I can get the cross pieces soldered in place. These notches are carefully measured so the opening is as close to the tube width as possible. With brazing, the tighter the joint, the better. You can bridge very small gaps, but anything larger, it just won't work well. The chassis is mostly together, so now it's time to match up the suspension. Since these rails are not standard width, I need to get creative in mounting them. I used to make a lot of small mounts, but here lately I have just been using the tabs from Scale Metal Supplies. Even if you need to slightly modify them, the time savings is just tremendous. A lot of times you just need to try something. Here I am building up mounts from some scrap of steel and brass. The problem with the brass is it softens when heated. In the end, I burned this off and switched over to a Scale Metal Supplies triangular tab. The spacing for the triangles were set to match up with the width of the leaf shackles. This allows a double shear support for the suspension, which is always preferred. The front has a bent piece which can be bolted directly to the frame rails. This is the solid mount for the suspension. The swinging portion is a little bit trickier, but not too bad. The front gets a coupler from Pushrod 3D. This is a 3D printed part which slots onto a trailer hitch from Axial or an appropriately sized ball stud. This coupler is designed to slip over a piece of brass tubing. Since I have a much thicker square tubing, the end is tapered before soldering on a short piece of brass. Once the piece is sanded back, it just looks like it's tapered down and was cut from a solid piece. Here's an example where my map gas was struggling. I got my oxy map torch out, but before I could even finish, the oxygen ran out. This is the main reason I shy away from using this torch, unless absolutely necessary. The oxygen canisters are expensive, and they just don't last very long. This piece is then cleaned up and soldered onto the front of the chassis rails. I like the look of a shorter trailer, but always think of use when making these. 
The longer the trailer, the easier it will be to back up. However, too long of a trailer will get hung up on every obstacle when you're going down the trail. So the body of the camper is wider than chassis rails. I needed a good way to support it. I also needed to have side rails to match up with the look of the trailer. With the chassis mostly sorted, I turned my attention to the camper. Styrene sheets were cut out to make up the shape of the floor. I then moved to making the walls. Later on, I will make several cuts and openings in the walls, but it's easier to build with the panels solid. This keeps things more rigid until all the pieces are fitted and make sure things remain square. It just takes a few minutes and all the panels are ready to be glued in place. I start with clear PVC cleaner as a solvent before backing the joint with CA glue. The strength comes from the solvent, but the CA with some accelerator allows the panels to stay in place while the solvent is drying. I opted to just drill four holes into the floor, which matched up with the chassis rails. The metal is thick enough to tap out, which makes it easier and cleaner to mount. The roof needs to come off so the interior can be seen. I went with a simple solution of just making a tight fitting lip that slides down over the camper. After cutting out the center section, two roof pieces were cut. A truss system was created to tie them together. The roof extends out past the rear to give a little shelter from the elements. The center sections were trimmed up a bit to add a little extra height. The overhang portion was left straight across though.
The real camper has a mix of RV and house windows. I designed and 3D printed some to match the look of those windows. It took a little effort, but I cut pieces to fill in between each truss. Most of my builds I do my best to make it as perfect as possible. The real camper was built well, but it was far from perfect. I had to work hard to get the panels glued in place so they were accurate but still had gaps and imperfections. The camper has folded down panels on each side. I will go into detail what these are for in the next video. But for now, I added hinges to the panel. A metal tubing structure was soldered together. Each side has a hook on the end and is matched up to an eye mounted to the body and the panel. This added with a brace at the bottom will support the panel at a 90 degree angle. This is a really cool camper and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it at a Recon G6 event. I have quite a bit more to go on this camper but it really is coming together. Looking forward to this and upcoming builds. Until then, I'll see you on the rocks.